Hello, viewers and subscribers. Welcome once again the the new screen task. Uh, it was completely new screen task uh, based on the, the the web web GIS web GIS programming and making um, screen task. Like uh, previously, I did like uh, different screen task about uh, the all available uh, JavaScript technology. How can we do uh, web mapping programming? Uh, with the leaflet, uh, JavaScript API, open layers, uh, JavaScript APIs, and also view server. And partly, um, I did the uh, web GIS programming uh, with the Java. Uh, and also, the, all the possible uh, web GIS, I can say, that with all the, the features and functionalities and technology steps, I already covered. Uh, my previous uh, screen task. Those are so new into my channels. And uh, you can you can follow the my channels and get the uh, complete overview of how it is the all the the GIS technology works and then how can we start the uh, GIS programming basically with the web based GIS programming with the different technology stacks. Uh, it doesn't matter the technology stacks in the in the Java technology stack, or in the into the scripting technology stack, or or, or you can think about the, the technology stack like more than the type type C technology stacks. So I already covered those technologies into my previous screencast, and today uh, we, I try to cover basically the really most important and one of the professional example. Uh, into, into the web GIS programming tools and uh, that's we did in the, in the, in the professional project and professional careers with the with the leaflet technology and then um, and then this, uh, those are new in the leaflet technology leaflet is, is like similar as like open layer JavaScript API to like Google Maps APIs that's like you know, Yahoo Maps APIs and a lot of map APIs available but it's the most popular Map API, leaflet, and open layers, JavaScript based APIs. So we use the leaflet and JavaScript based and with the JavaScript based APIs, and also the behind the scene, the view server because we need to be a lot of the uh, shape files and also the view spatial functionality uh, need to be visualized in, in our in our application. If you see the application, I already started the application. There's a lot of functionality there. So uh, we will, I will show you step by step how it is look like, how we can go to further, uh, further steps. So it's all the functions is there, so all the functionalities will be taken one by one. How can we present? How can we program it? How can we structure the projects? And then how how how, how can those those who are new into the developments and GIS programming or even doing the Angular or TypeScript based programming, I will teach you. How can we start a web GIS more focused on web GIS programming with really professional example, not the hello world example? It's a really professional example. So you need to be understand the basic of GIS, geographic information system. You need to understand the web programming, like the, the basic uh, basic uh, JavaScript programming, basic CSS, HTML programming, and uh, the you need to you need to understand the the TypeScript and Angular or React is and uh, yeah, programming, way programming. That's when you need to be understand for 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 clearly understand this this screen task. This I say this is really most professional example and uh, what I did in the last couple of years in the professional life. So I just try to share with you so all the functionality, how it is done, how it needs to be handled and then all things together. So it's you see the all the functionality you can switch off, switch of all the maps, the open layer maps and open uh, the base skills maps, all things that we'll discuss together when you start the development. So that means that, that we will cover the, the technology stack like TypeScript that as a, as a server side programming and then Node.js the as a server and then we have and the Angular as a front-end development that we see the front developments is, and then the, that is the, the more part is the, the most important part is web programming how we can do the web, web GIS, uh, web programming with the web GIS, the more focused on the web GIS. So with the leaflet technology we use, I had a similar example for the, the technology like open layers, 
everything technology will be the same every day, but the only thing is that the, the map library, uh, the content map library is like the only layer. So JavaScript or Google Maps API is library that you can then put API library or with the, if you are using the uh, Google Maps library, and then you need to be take the, the, the license from the Google and then it is depending on the which license type you are. So if you have a less request in the Google server on the map server, then or maybe using the map uh, API in the Google, maybe you need less less money to pay the Google, or if you have an enterprise level application, then you need to get a special license uh, from the Google uh, to, to, to take the, the Google Map server and also the uh, also the API server, API services from the Google. For, for our case, this is like the open source, the most popular, then we get open layer uh, JavaScript API libraries, and then uh, and and the, that we are using the maps like from the Google sometimes, and and also the most important that we are using the open layers, uh, open street maps, and this policy maps. We can alternatively use the other map service provider like the TomTom. The TomTom they have a map service provider, and also they have Yahoo Maps and Bit Maps. There's all the possibility you can have the map services. And take the maps as a background server, the map, map services, map server, and then you can visualize with these spatial data into the maps uh, depending on uh, which technology you are. But as I said, the previous speakers I already discussed of all the possible technology combinations Java uh, and also now, and also the, the JavaScript based frameworks, all things. But today we are in the in the, in the leaflet and then most of you know, TypeScript and Angular based uh, function development with uh, more focus in the uh, with GIS programming. So that's that's the core part. So you got the idea what we need to be cover, what we can start the projects, and how can we set those GUI and templates, and then everything will properly work. And that's what we are expecting. So you see, uh, with what we cover here, the how can you make the really professional the pop-ups uh, to pop up uh, to make a really for the project where you see the some uh, the image overlapping and you have some the pop-up functionality with the uh, uh, with the with the with the feature information or back information how the feature look like that I I will show you how it is uh, how it is handled how it is programmed and if I if I go to the projects you see the projects and, and then if I go to the, the you see there's a full distribution and then in project you can click it and then you can see the how how is the professional to handle the, 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 the projects. So it's all the things we will discuss together. How can this be handled, how can we overlap the maps uh, and how can we overlap the images and also the how can we play the movies and then how can we generate the, all those type of vectors and how can we also all the view server services, uh, the map services, and how can we play the movies also. That's I, I will show you in the, in the best part of the site. That I said, this is the, like the private uses, and we they take the resources from the from the internet, and I try to build really one professional example, a really professional example, how can we build this, this type of projects uh, into the into the in concept to the web GIS program. Because that's needed every company they need to do functionalities nowadays too. It doesn't matter if bank companies, insurance companies, or uh, transportation companies, it doesn't matter. They need everywhere in the maps where they are targeted and where they are their their facilities located or uh, it doesn't matter. They need it everywhere. The city governments and the non governmental part, NGOs they need all the analysis to 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 present or to visualize and to to, to give it to the really yeah, effective visualization process with uh, maps, not the desktop GIS, it is web GIS for them. So you need to be clearly categorized and clearly understand how it is work, how it to be handled. So go back to the presentation. So we will cover the what we cover, but we will cover the the, the image overlapping uh, with a lot of the information that in the, in the project required or in the presentation. And also the the pop up information about the, each of the geometry. I mean the all the point line and polygon geometry and other geometry. How can we play? How can we do it? 
So you see the pop-up given here with the reader form. So we'll discuss how can we build such a strategy and with a really very straightforward program.